Hi, I'm James and I'm a sophomore in CC studying Neuroscience and Behavior. This past summer, I've been working in the Hobart lab, studying the role of PAC6 as a master regulator gene of neuron identity in the C. elegans interior nervous system. C. elegans are microscopic nematodes that are incredibly useful for investigating neuron identity specification because of their limited number of well-defined neuron classes. We can use the fully mapped nervous system of C. elegans to answer a central question in neuroscience. How is neuron diversity generated and maintained? Traditionally, answering this question has relied on anatomical features of neurons and molecular markers such as neurotransmitters. But more recently, homeodomain transcription factors have emerged as even better cell type specific markers compared to other families. In C. elegans, homeodomain proteins are encoded by 102 different homeobox genes. And while the function of a number of these homeobox genes have been previously identified, the functional effect of these genes on neuron regulation are still unknown. Further, some neurons out of the 302 neurons in C. elegans do not yet have assigned master regulator genes. In my project, I am studying whether the homeobox gene VAB3, which is the C. elegans ortholog of PAC6, acts as a master regulator for the OLQ and ADA neurons. First, I generated a completely novel expression pattern using a CRISPR reagent revealing that VAB3 is expressed in the OLQ and ADA neurons, two neurons that don't yet have master regulator genes. Using neuron-specific fluorescein reporters for OLQ and ADA, we tested if these markers would disappear in various VAB3 mutant backgrounds. These mutants were either created with a germline Cree driver that cut out all of the VAB3 protein, or a panneuronal Cree driver that depleted VAB3 in only neurons and left hypodermal cells intact. In the null mutants generated from our germline Cree, a variably abnormal phenotype where the head was disorganized and misshapen led to many experimental difficulties in imaging the worms and setting up crosses. Further, the panneuronal Cree failed to inhibit expression of BAG and ADA, which meant that the reagent we used wasn't very efficient. And so thus, we turned to micro-injecting CRISPR reagents to create our various VAB3 mutants. I found that in a VAB3 null mutant background, the OLQ reporter disappears in VAB-looking worms, which indicates that VAB3 may be regulating OLQ specification. We plan on injecting the same CRISPR reagents in the ADA-specific fluorescent reporter to test whether VAB3 regulates ADA. In the future, we will perform experiments to determine whether this lack of expression can be attributed to specification issues where OLQ neurons lose their fate or lineage issues, where OLQ neurons never get generated. Thank you for your time.